Assalamualaikum <coughs> My name is Muhammad Faiz Ben Kamalun Zailan My nama macam is 206007 I want to present about agro-tourism What is agro-tourism? Um, agro-tourism is an area developed for the tourism sector but with an agricultural concept <coughs> Agro-tourism is also a tourism trend nowadays that is gaining popularity, especially among domestic and foreign tourists. Agro-tourism becomes more attractive by not only focusing on agriculture, but various other activities are organized such as uh, additional socio-cultural based activities and business in tourist activities, livestock, fisheries to tourists. History of agrotourism. <coughs> the concept of agrotourism has long been introduced in countries around the world, such as the United States, since 1800 uh, in Thailand. Agrotourism has been used as one of the main mediums to attract tourists from around the world. Then in Greece, the agrotourism industry has been introduced specifically to attract tourists to mountainous areas and places that are less popular and marginalized with the world. Next is impact on the communities or even nation. First, impact of agrotourism on the economy. Uh, in general, agrotourism products are seen to have a very positive impact in terms of the development of the country, tourism industry, and also generate economic definite benefits to the local population and the government. For example, Malaysia have a camera highland in Pahang. Um, diversity of economic resources and employment opportunities for the community in the development space. Uh, second, impact of agotourism on social, social and socio-cultural. The existence of agotourism enable the preservation and sharing of local heritage culture for the long term to tourists. Uh, agrotourism can reveal historical perspective on indigenous people, flora and fauna to tourists and can encourage local communities to appreciate and receive benefits from cultural assets and natural resources. Uh, for example, in Kuala Tahan National Park, Pahang and Royal Belum Perak. And third, environmental impact um, used to protect nature, wildlife and various species in the forest as well as help locals become a civilized and educated society by recognizing the importance of conserving natural uh, forest resources. Um, next, product, uh, provide great benefits to tourists who come from all uh, over the world to take the opportunity to appreciate and be in protected natural environment. Um, the potential of agrotourism can motivate the addition of natural areas for conservation and protection in the future such as in the new agrotourism area to be developed. For example, uh, in Lodging Highland and Gua Musang. Agrotourism adds general knowledge on certain perception. Um, some extent give unconscious knowledge to the tourists who make the tour. The techniques of caring for a living thing, the discovery of floral and fauna that have never found that have never been found and information about life and so on. Uh, this can open the mind of tourists who visit and this will give attention and awareness of how valuable the life of flora and fauna on this earth that needs to be taken care of and not treated it to the point of extinction. Um, next, uh, raise the name of the country in the eyes of the world. Uh, this is will provide tourists with beauty and tra tranquility and can entice them to come and visit. Tourists from all uh, around the country and overseas will make this location a talking point 
and the error's beauty will be documented and shared with others. Uh, the stories industry will boost the country's profile and unwitting, unwittingly um, then enhance the country's economy while also attracting attention from across the world. Uh, next is <coughs> example of agro-tourism in Malaysia. First is Kipli Nipah in Kuala Perlis which is, is agro-tourism specific on Shele in Nipah crop species concept of leisure and relax. Second, agro-tourism park Madi Langkawi in Kedah which is, is famous in Langkawi for tourism with a nice landscape and view for many species of crop. It also provides activities like recreational activities such as uh, camping, biking and fishing. And third, uh, floating chalet PPK Marbo in Kedah which is attraction with fishing activities in the cage of fish or fishing in Kuala Marbo. Um, next, the Turtle Sanctuary and Information Center Sharating Pahang which is offers a variety of activities for visitors such as the Turtle Hatchery Program, um, the release of baby turtle, sea turtles and appreciation of the camp. Uh, next will be Sabah Agriculture Park which is attraction visitors such as the Borneo Orchid Garden Center Honeybees and the Evolution Garden and Garden Decoration. Uh, next, Peladang City Agro-Tourism and Resort Terengganu which is um, a resort town for far from congestion that provides a wide range of recreational facilities and locations such as Orchid uh, which is fruit, herb garden, animal stalls and a result of agriculture. It also offer a package package of seminars and causes a reasonable price. The conclusion is that this sector has a very positive impact on tourists and the country. This sector will also raise the country's name in the eyes of the world if taken care of properly. For sustainability, beauty of nature must be maintained and further improved. Uh, however, agrotourism also has the potential to produce negative impact on the environment. Based on sensitivity, the culture and natural resource as well as the environment of agrotourism destination commonly known as indigenous protected areas can be easily affected through tourist activities especially when visitor management strategy to do not work well infrastructure condition and visitor activities that are not managed sustainability through ecotourism activities can also cause stress and negative effect on a natural area such as in Pulau Pantian Terengganu where most coral reef can be said to have been affected by uncontrolled tourism activities. Therefore, it is very important to create a sustainable agro-tourism management strategy because um, nature is a fragile, fragile environment. Infection in efficient management methods to protect the environment can cause the main goal of agro-tourism as a conservation measure to be hindered if not managed properly as it is one of the important support system for the sustainability of environmental resource. Thank you.